Chop three. Let's get it. I've never been scared of hard work. If the money's out there, and the only thing that's stopping me from getting it is putting in the work, you might as well go on and pay me now, because I assure you that work will get done. We can't change where we're from, or who our families are, or what kind of resources we have at the start. But we can control how hard we work. There's always more we can do to reach that extra gear. Another hour to put in, more research to do, or another take to try to get it right. I'm not saying the gospel of hard work is the be at all, end of all of success, but it's a cornerstone of it. That's for damn sure. We all have a choice to make when it comes to how we use our time and how we go about pursuing our dreams. We can talk about it or we can be about it. That's not to say all your dreams will come true. If you simply put in the work, they may or they may not. But I guarantee you, if you don't put in the work, that's all it'll ever be. Jet dreams. Now, what are your thoughts on what you just read? Hey, man, you got to strive for greatness. I'm talking about thrive, flourish. You got to be a dog. You got to want it. You feel me? Now, when it comes to music, was that a dream of yours? Man, ever since a youngster, man, I always did music, you know what I'm saying? Used to go to school, rap at school, write rhymes in class, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely music. Now, why did you become a recording artist? Man, it was at a time where I seen, well, I always took it as like a hobby. I took it serious, you know, trying to fuck around with the streets or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You start seeing people dying, going to jail, and you got to figure out where route you're going to go. You're going to either do something, keep dreaming, or make something shake. So, you know what I'm saying? Put my all into this shit, man. Go for it and do it. Like you say, just a dream is just a dream. You know, putting the work forward. And care to share what age or what grade, perhaps, if you were in school at the time, you make that decision to uh, take music serious instead of just the hobby? Oh, man. I say, like, 18, I definitely want to just, after high school, definitely take it to a serious low. And care to share the high school you attended back then? Oh, yeah, man. Terra High, for sure, you know what I'm saying? They known, well, Dawson George is actually known for, like, a part of time. I got, like, the latest tailgate in the state of George, for sure. Hey, actually, we had Gucci come to our school. Gucci, man, LaFleur actually came to my school, for sure. That was a surprise, like, for sure. And speaking of ages, care to share your current age at this point? Man, right now, 29. And your birthday while you're at it, the month and the day, perhaps? 1205. Now, at this point, what genre of music do you consider yourself? Man, I'm an artist, you feel me? So, you might go hip hop, rap, trap, trap, soul, you feel me? Definitely want to get something to the ladies, so I got to get that right RB artist, and we're going to go from there and pop it. That's what I want to add in my catalog for sure. Now, you've mentioned a variety of genres or subgenres here, but if there was a circle chart of 100%, what would you say is the percentage of all those things you just mentioned? Hmm. And this is a rough estimate here. For sure. You know, they're going to put me in the rap, hip hop category. For sure. And, and out of that 100%, that circle pie chart, what would you say is that percentage of that genre there, of your music? Hmm. I'm going to say, like, a good. 85% of what I did so far, definitely that right now. Now, do you remember how you were introduced to that genre of music? Oh, uh, man, I grew up out here in Georgia, so you already know, like, Dungeon Family, Outkast, Good Mob, like, as a youngster coming from the 90s, like, that's what it was out here in Georgia for me, you feel me? Now, was this the environment that was playing this music? Was it one of your parents, like your mother or your father, playing this music? Oh, I know my pops used to know about that good of my office and shit, so definitely with the environment and definitely, you know, outcast, good of my all that shit was like what I grew up on when I had in Georgia, for sure, as a youngster. Because sometimes parents will raise their children 
under a genre of music. Didn't know if that was the case for you. Didn't know if, for example, your father uh, raised you with hip-hop music or rap music playing in the house and things of that nature. You know, I just always liked what I liked, you feel me, with the music. Now, additionally, was this genre of music the first genre of music you ever encountered in your life? Oh, Michael Jackson and Tupac, man, that, that was definitely what I heard growing up as a youngster, you feel me? And I videotapes on camcorder, because I'm a nanny baby, so they got me on film jamming the Tupac and Michael Jackson. Plus my people, my older cousin and family be telling me how I used to be jigging and jamming to that shit. <laughs> Plus I see myself on film, camera as a youngster, as a little baby, so it's like, I see it, definitely that. Now, how did you learn how to rap? What was that learning process like for you back then? Ah, uh, man, work that it, work that it, kept doing it. If I would might say you suck, sound like garbage, but hey, you gotta scribe for greatness, you know what I'm saying? People gonna tell you a lot of things, but it's all you, you wanna stop, quit, or whatever. Now, for clarification, would you say you were self-taught, or did anyone teach you how to rap? Man, self-taught for sure. Now, did you take music classes in school of any sort? Man, I actually did. I used to, uh, I used to be on the drum line. I ain't gonna care. I always liked the music and shit, though. And how many grades did you do that for, the drum line? Ah, uh, man, I say probably like three years out of high school. And was that freshman, sophomore, junior, or? Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, didn't do it senior year? Nah, nah, definitely senior year. Okay, so. Uh, what grades did you actually do drumline? Because you mentioned three, high school's okay, four. Okay, okay. Yeah, right, for sure. When I first popped that issue, freshman year, I was faking it on the trumpet. Like, I wasn't really reading no music. I was just, you know, just faking the funk. Like, okay. Then they were just like, because I wasn't going to do that band shit at first. Like, I was like, nah. If I can be on the drum line, you feel me? Yeah. And then, worked out a deal. That shit went from there. Can you shed some more light on that? Worked out a deal, things of that nature? She freshman year, they were like, you do this right here, huh? then next year, you gonna be on the drum line. So, you know what I'm saying? They they stay true to it, you feel me? So, definitely. I, and what instrument did you actually play on that drum line? Ah, uh, man, some folk might be familiar with the tenor drum, you feel me? It's almost like a little baby bass drum, you did. And what led you to that particular instrument back then? You know, that was what was available, you feel me? Plus, I was just getting started, so I wanted to give it a try, you know what I'm saying? As a youngster, you know, I seen Drumline, Nick Cannon, that shit was fire, so, yeah, I wanted to give that shit a try. Now, did you ever end up doing competitions? Competitions, like? With that Drumline? Oh, for sure. Yes, sir. And how far did it get? Was it just regional competitions, national competitions? She all over George. <laughs> did you ever get a chance to end up doing any major parades, like the Macy's Day Parade in New York, for example, Thanksgiving weekend? Uh, no, uh, where I'm from, you feel me, homecoming and Albany State homecoming, them, them like the biggest things around, so people come from here, there, everywhere, just to... You know what I mean? Come fuck with this city. So, yeah, them definitely them big parades. Okay, so you do drumline sophomore, junior, senior year. Uh, was there any chance of you continuing on with the band or band instrument into uh, college, perhaps, or furthering your education and things of that nature? Shit, just further the music, you feel me? Now... Did any of that, uh, that freshman year when you were playing with the trumpet, I believe you said, or uh, those three years on the drum line, sophomore, junior, senior in high school, did that, any of that, help you with becoming a recording artist at all? Mm, I'm going to say, yeah, a little bit, you know. I learned a little bit of just ring music, but I get just the rhythm on beat. Definitely, you feel me? So, yeah, definitely that. Now, hypothetically speaking, could you have gotten to where you're at musically at this point without being involved in any of that stuff? Hmm. 
you was all in the journey, man. So I look back on it and say, definitely that, the music. Okay, so aside from Drumline, did you have a music tutor at all? Nah, I never had a music tutor. A vocal coach? None of Private lessons of any sort? No. Just curious there. Now, moving forward, do you remember your very first song? My very first song, for sure, back in high school. Care to share the title of it, if you remember, and what that song was about back then? Man, one of my first songs, you were like, I was fucking with Mr. Craft, like, recording, like, an old ass, like, microphone. You wouldn't need no studio microphone. We would play the goddamn beat from the speakers. Like, that shit, like, 07, 06 type of, nah, I say, like, 07, 08 type shit back right then. Like, just went from there. Do you, re excuse me, do you recall the title to that song? Oh, uh, my very first song, I think they like my swag, definitely. And do you recall what that song was about? Man, it was just back when that swag, before they were talking about drip sauce and all that, you feel me? It was just swag, so definitely about how you put that shit on. What are you talking about now? You feel me? Putting that shit on, having that shit on, you feel me? So, just my demeanor, you feel me? Swag, for sure. Now, were any of those lyrics true back then? Man, I was just a youngin' putting it together, you know what I'm saying? Rhyming, but for sure, yeah. And was that a physical release, like on CD or vinyl, for example, or a digital one, like a mixtape website, a DSP, so on and so forth? For sure, by then, they had spitchogang.com and all that shit was going on, so, you know, you just upload it, and that what was going on by then, you feel me? Now, is that song still available for people to listen to right now if they wanted to? thing about it is I wasn't even calling myself Hood Red Seth at the time. I was just a youngster in high school, just, you feel me, going through the ropes of just doing music, just trying to just progress and get better. So I thought it might be on YouTube, you feel me. Do you recall what the stage name was back then? Oh uh, man, by then, I, I was just going through it, trying to figure it out. I was calling myself Blaze at the time, you feel me? So it might be that right up maybe on YouTube or some shit like that. <laughs> and was that the only stage name you ever had previous to Hood Rich Savvy? Nah, I was, you know, I was going by Blaze, but you know, at the time, I was trying to figure out something stand out on his own, you feel me? Back then, it was so many Blazes over the go whatever was going on. So uh, then I was going by Jay Barkley. Then I switched that shit up. One day I was just rapping with my partner now, doing a song. And I was like, Hood Rich on Seven. I was like, I was already going by Seven at one point anyway. And I added that Hood Rich to that shit, man. And I was like, y'all, that's it. I'm Hood Rich Seven. Went from there. And was that the chronological order of all your stage names in the past? For sure. Now, there are some recording artists who take down, delete, old music of their catalog uh, in public. Was that ever a thought back then? Hey man, as you progress and get better, you know what I'm saying, you like, it's not quality to even be out there no more, you feel me, so. Now what was the reaction to that song back then of yours? Ah oh, man. Your first song. She doing music, you feel me. You know, it's always gonna be mixed reviews, so. I'm prepared for that, you feel me. Did your parents hear that song by any chance? I don't know, right? Probably so. And just for clarification, was this the first song you recorded or publicly released? I think that was like the first one basically publicly released, you know what I'm saying, by then. As a youngster, you ain't on know, buddy. You just putting it out there, man. I just got a song recorded, a song. You just throwing it out there, you feel me? That's what it was. So you learn about the quality, definitely. When's the last time you listened to that song yourself? 
man, I ain't gonna flip. I think I ran across that shit like seven months ago, maybe. <laughs> and what did you think when you heard it? You know, just progress, you know, how far you come. But you know, I was a teenager at, at that time, so it's a whole different mindset, mind frame too. Now, when do you feel like you create your best music at this point? Ah, uh, man. Hold on, say it again. When do you feel like you create your best music at this point, moving forward? My best music? Man, I just try to make good quality music, you know what I'm saying? Different vibes, different beats, different sounds. I go from the... Now, can you show the front cover to this book on camera? Yes, sir. Raise it just a little bit higher. When you see this book from Jeezy, what does it mean to you? Man, he's a legend in the game, you feel me? Like, he one of the ones, like I say, I studied the game. Like, they came in with drama, him, Tilt, Gucci, Jeezy, Wayne. Like, them names are big, they legends to me. So, definitely, I studied them. I studied the game as a youngster. And you also follow him on social media, in particular with your Instagram profile. For sure, Big Snow, y'all. Legendary right hand, George. Now, for those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, care to share your screen name on IG as well. Hey, you already know, BMV Savvy underscore, I mean, hold on, BMV underscore Savvy, you did. Now, zooming out, are you a book reader? Oh yeah, you know, reading is knowledge, you feel me? You gotta educate yourself, well, that's if you wanna be educated and elevate to the net level, you feel me? And that's what I'm on. What's a book that's changed your life? Oh man, a book that didn't change my life. Hmm. It's been a couple of them, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. Wanna share any of those titles? I can't even really just give you the I, I can't even think about the names of them right now, you feel me? But definitely, it's been some books. All right. And when it comes to Jeezy, final question here, just for transparency, do you know him personally by any chance? Nah, nah. Dope music, though.